a group of best friends decided to have their alumni get together at the residence of one of their favorite university professors. The professor was very popular because of his wisdom among university students and had been a mentor for many of them. They planned a get-together at the professor's residence. It was quite a happy moment for not only the professor, but even for all my friends also as some of them were meeting after a long time. Some of them were in a good position in the corporate world, and some running good businesses. Some good leaders and leading their companies and some are just in average job positions. All of them got married and had wonderful families. There was a quality conversation going on, but somehow the conversation soon diverted to complaints about work, relationships, stress, tension in life. The professor offered them a coffee and went to the kitchen to ask his wife to prepare coffee for all his students. His wife came with a smile, one thing was to be noticed that she brought coffee in different kinds of cups. Crystal cups, glass cups, ceramic cups, shining ones, some plain looking, some ordinary, some exquisite, and some expensive ones. All students think the professor hasn't the same cups for a large number of students. But they ignore it. But they don't know the professor does it deliberately. When all of them had a cup in hand, the professor asked a question to everyone, why you all pick nice looking cups and leave ordinaries in the tray. It was a surprising moment, as nobody noticed that there were some extra cups of coffee and while having their cup, nobody took the ordinary cups and all of them were left on the serving tray. The professor continued, every one of you wanted the best cups. While it is, of course, normal for you to want only the best for yourselves, that can also be the source of much of your dissatisfaction, problems and stress, and tension in life. All the friends got confused and were looking towards the professor. They could not understand. What's the connection between having a coffee in a chosen cup with the stress and tension of life? Professor continued further and explained after seeing their curious face. Be assured that the cup itself adds no quality to the coffee. In most cases, it is just more expensive. And in some cases, even it hides what we drink. What you really wanted was coffee, not the cup. But you consciously went for the best cups, and then you began eyeing each other's cups. Always remember one thing, if life is coffee. Jobs, money, status or position in society, love, etc. are the cups. They are just tools to hold and contain life. The type of cup we have does not define or change the quality of life we live. Please don't let the cups drive you. Enjoy the coffee. Life is like a cup of coffee.